One week ago today, and England was counting down to its second lockdown of the year. But this one isn't like the one in March. Just look at the difference then and now. For one thing, the schools are staying open this time. But there are also fears that people just aren't taking the rules as seriously now. I think everybody knew what they had to do during the first lockdown, and, and there was very high um, uh, compliance with that. Public health expert Paul Hunter says government messaging has been less consistent since then. He also says the UK's promised world-beating test and trace system is a failure. If you're not getting to enough people and the people that you are getting to them are more likely not to actually follow your advice than to self-isolate, then it's not ever going to have uh, a, much of an impact. Let me spell out the medical and moral disaster we face. The sick would be turned away. Doctors the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced the latest lockdown on November 2nd, just two weeks after lambasting the opposition leader Keir Starmer for backing one. He wants to turn the lights out with a full national lockdown. There have been a series of government U-turns recently, including the last-minute extension of a furlough scheme after thousands of people had already been let go. Marcus Rashford on a hat trick. But none have been as eye-catching as the government's headbutting with the footballer Marcus Rashford over school lunches for kids in need. This is Tower Hamlets, one of London's poorest boroughs. Last month, the local university stepped in to cook vulnerable kids' lunches when Downing Street refused to extend a school lunch program into the holidays. At lots of different businesses around here are sort of helping out as well. Um, Marcus Rashford, the footballer, tweeted about um, Queen Mary giving out the food as well, so it's sort of gone global. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. The Man United player depended on school lunches himself growing up in Manchester. He's led a relentless campaign to ensure kids don't go hungry in lockdown or on school breaks. Kids like 16-year-old Kada. Yeah, it's the government's job, but he decided to use his fame to like step in and sort of help younger people. He's also shamed the government. Just this past weekend, Johnson called Rashford to withdraw his hard refusal of the past few weeks, announcing new funding. As for the lockdown, it's due to end on December 2nd if the infection rate slows enough. Really do appreciate it. Thank you oh, so much. You're very welcome. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.